Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Welcome back to Sportsbit Betting Insight today from SBRPicks.com. Let's get right into it. Bowl previews the Cure Bowl in Orlando, Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers minus five and a half and 52 against the Georgia State Panthers. And look, Western Kentucky's first season in the post Jeff Brom era wasn't very good. They went six and six under Mike Sanford. They were good enough to qualify for their fourth straight bowl trip. And this team's been really good. Under Brom in bowls, three and zero straight up, two and one against the spread, and the only thing that present, prevented the three and zero point spread mark in those bowl games, you remember the game. I remember the game. Was it the Bahamas Bowl? That miracle backdoor from Central Michigan three years ago in a game they were down by five touchdowns going in the fourth. If you watched it or bet it, you're going to remember that. Uh, bottom line is, Western Kentucky was a right side winner in that contest as well. The last two years, uh, Hilltoppers they traveled well. They traveled well to Miami. They traveled well to Boca. Uh, so the fact they're going to Orlando, uh, I think they'll draw pretty uh, pretty well for this contest. Georgia State, I mean, look, you know, it's second bowl in three years for the Panthers. They lost uh, right here at the Cure Bowl, 27-16. to 16. They were plus one and a half against San Jose State in 2015. That was not a particularly good San Jose State uh, team. Sean Elliott got them there uh, back in his first season on the job, although – when you look at the team, it's hard to see how they got a bowl bid. Georgia State played three teams that went to bowls this year. One of them was a really good team, Penn State. The other two were Troy and Appalachian State. They lost those three games by a total of 101 points. End of the regular season, they clinched bowl eligibility. They had back-to-back wins over Sunbelt bottom feeders on the road in November. They came home. They have Tennessee State and Idaho. Yeah, they lost both of those games in straight-up fashion as well. Do we do our digging here on Sportsbit? You better believe it. This is something that nobody's talking about. I mean, nobody. That's why you watch the show. Big-time talent. Georgia State has one. They have a wide receiver. named Penny Hart. He has 73 catches, 15 yards per, per reception, nine touchdowns. How about this little digging from the student paper after the loss to Idaho to finish the season? All Sunbelt wide receiver Penny Hart left the game and did not return after a 48-yard completion in the first quarter. Having Google losing him, not seeing anything yet. It is an impact injury if he does not play. All the other wide receivers on the team combined to catch five touchdown passes, and there's really not much uh, from this Georgia State ground game. Look at the graphic. Three running backs, yeah, three and a half yards of carry, 2.9 and 3.3. They're the only team in the nation not to have any of their top three rushers reach four yards per carry. Heck, none of them better than three and a half yards per carry. On the other side of the equation, of course, with Western Kentucky, you've got a a QB who has NFL potential. The scouts will be watching Mike White. That being said, Mike White, man, senior year, a real disappointment off what he did last year. Look at the numbers. Last year, number three in the nation in passer rating, 37 touchdowns, 10.5 yards per pass attempt this year. Completion percentage down, yards per pass way down, passer rating way down. Even with that, I mean, you look at Georgia State, you say, why the heck is this number so short? Shouldn't Western be laying a touchdown or more in this ballgame? Well, maybe, maybe not. The Hilltoppers, they tanked down the stretch. They went 5-2 and two to open the season. They went 1-4 and four to close out. Their only win came on senior day at home in triple overtime. You know, this isn't much of a defense to be laying points with, and it's certainly worth noting. The uh, Western Kentucky's last win by enough of a margin to cover this point spread came October 14th. That's more than three months before kickoff. That being said, I don't want Georgia State. If I'm playing, I'm laying Hilltoppers or pass for this better. When we come back on Sportsbit, more big game breakdowns right here. Don't touch that dial. Dial, what century am I living in? Don't click on the next video. That's the way to go. Right here on Sportsbit, betting insight today from SBRPicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.